YouTube, I'm back again today for another game review on the special expansion review. And today I'm very excited to check out Suddenly Drunk the Sexy Expansion. And in Suddenly Drunk the Sexy Expansion, this is yet another version of Suddenly Drunk, a game that tries to implement drinking with your typical turn-based game. So on your turn, you're going to be drawing one of these cards and doing what it says. Now, the original game was just all about getting you drunk. This one's all about getting you drunk and getting you horny? What am I talking about? Let's open it up and I'll tell you what I think. All right then, we're gonna take a look at what you're gonna get inside of the suddenly drunk sexy expansion. So first and foremost, there's no real rules included with this game. They do uh, mention that you should probably add this with the original suddenly drunk, uh, which I did a video on, go check that one out. And essentially how it works is you are going to have this deck of extra cards over here and at the beginning of your turn, you're going to draw one of these cards and do what it says on the card. Now, the original one was all just about getting drunk. Since this is the sexy expansion, you're gonna be doing, well, sexy things. Removing our full clothes, kissing people, you know, all sorts of different things like that. Now, I do wanna show this card. You don't see this card in too many games. Warning, make sure everyone playing with this expansion knows what they are in for. Let every player look over the cards before playing. Uh, because that is very important. So I'm just going to show you those cards since I've already told you what you're going to do, essentially, is you're just going to be drawing these once per turn. So instant, and there are going to be two different kinds of cards. You have instant cards and anytime cards. Anytime cards can be played, well, you guessed it, any anytime, whereas instant cards are going to be cards that happen immediately. So tweaker, every time someone removes an item of clothing, you must tweak your own nipples and say, ooh, that's good. You must drink every time you're caught not doing so. Anytime, add an item of clothing or remove a rule from yourself because there are rules that will come into play and some of them are really quite annoying. Take an item of clothing off. You'll see quite a few of those. Um, play this card to redraw a card you just drew from the suddenly drunk deck without suffering its effects. Bit awkward. Pick someone. They get to take an item of your clothing off of you. It must be accessible and they must do it themselves. If they refuse, they must finish their drink. Creeper. Pick another player to take two items of clothing off. You must lock eyes with them as they take their clothes off. If you break eye contact or laugh, they put those items or clothing back on and you finish your entire drink. Swapsies. Everyone swaps an item of clothing with another player. Sexy affair. Pick another player to have an affair with. You both must remove an item of clothing when the other does. So you're intentionally connected to each other, which can get really bad because there's a lot of stuff where you're going to be removing clothes from. Add an item of clothing or remove a rule from yourself. Nice butt. Pick the person playing with who has the best butt. They must drink. How you doing? Whenever you've made to drink, you must say a pickup line to another player. You must drink every time you're caught not doing so. Swapsies, take an item of clothing off. Spin the bottle. Spin a bottle. You must kiss whoever it lands on. Yeah, one of you chickens out. Uh, bales, they mean chickens out. They must finish their entire drink. Take a item of clothing. Nice bud. How you doing? Uh, so as you can see, there's a lot of repeats. And as you can see, it's very sex driven. Oh, in addition, there's also going to be quite a few of these cards where you'll be able to write your own fill in the blank. And I could see these getting very, very dirty. But that, in a nutshell, is how Suddenly Drunk, the sexy expansion works. Alrighty then, suddenly drunk the sexy expansion from Breaking Games. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. Before we do that, I do want to mention I'm an incredibly open-minded person. I don't care what other people do behind closed doors or heck, even out in public. I really don't mind any of that sort of thing. I've been around the block, I've shown numerous displays of PDA, I've done a lot of things out in public that, well, you get the idea. So I'm very open-minded. Uh, Let's get on to the pros. So on the pro side, I love the concept of Suddenly Drunk. I, I really enjoy the idea of adding drinking, and in particular sexy drinking now, to your typical turn-based games. I think that's a really cool concept that should be explored more by other games as well, in addition to Suddenly Drunk. Because, you know, most of the time drinking games kind of fall flat. This adds drinking in somewhat more of a cosmetic manner. Another pro that I have with this game is that if you're in the market for a game like this that's going to involve people getting naked, people kissing, people just getting frisky, then this one definitely will accomplish that task. No bones about it. You're going to be removing clothes, you're going to be taking clothes off other people, you're going to be potentially kissing other people, doing all sorts of stuff like that. So if that's what you're going for, this game is a no-brainer. Go get it. 
Another thing that I like about this game is obviously it's an expansion for just about any game out there. Any game that involves people taking turns, this will work for. So it's an incredibly variable game, which is always a good thing. Last pro I have with this is that in my past, I can think of numerous situations where this would have been amazing. Like, if I would have had this in my early 20s, this would have gotten played quite frequently from time... I shouldn't say quite frequently. It would have gotten played probably, I don't know, 15 to 50 times in my early 20s and teens even. So, I really like the concept of this game. I'm not going to be an old fogey and say, oh, this is a terrible idea for a game. No, I feel like there is a subsection of the market, an incredibly small subsection of the market, where this is exactly what they want. Give the people what they want! And that's what this game does. However, <laughs> moving on to the cons, I feel like this is without a doubt one of the most niche games that I have ever played in my life because I'm trying to figure out who I would recommend this game to. And I can think of two categories. I can think of younger people or more sexually adventurous older people who are in open relationships and who are single and game with those similar people and i can also think of swingers i think this is a perfect swinger game like if i ever make a top five games for swingers this is definitely going boom number one on the list yeah you can put that quote on the box peter um so <laughs> uh I feel like if this game sounds like it might be good for you, it's fantastic for you. And if the game sounds like it's not for you, then no, you're absolutely not going to want to do this because it's going to make a lot of people, an overwhelming majority of people, feel uncomfortable. And that's why it even says, take out cards that you don't feel comfortable with. And I feel like if you pass this deck around and people weren't expecting this, all these cards pretty much would get taken out. So it's an incredibly niche game. And I like the original... This is such a hard game to review because it's so weird. Let's put it simple. If you are a normal person in a polygamous relationship, or if you are not sexually adventurous, or if you don't play games with people who aren't sexually adventurous, or if you play games with kids, or if you don't like to drink, or if you don't like drinking while you play games, or if you play very serious games where getting drunk is probably not going to enhance the game, then this is not going to be for you. But if you're a swinger or if you're sexually adventurous and single or in an open relationship, then this is a must buy. So for 99.5% of the population, this is an instant not buy. But for that 0.5, and if you're that 0.5, go ahead, pick this one up. I don't think you will be disappointed. I know I personally would have had a lot of fun with this in my younger years, but in my current age, not so much. We tried playing it two players with my wife and it didn't work out. We tried playing it three players with a mutual friend of ours. It got really uncomfortable really fast. So uh, I really kind of wish I would have recorded that gameplay video. It got really awkward really quickly. <laughs> uh, but that suddenly drunk the sexy expansion. Definitely one of the mis most niche games you will ever see on the market. If you enjoyed this review, please sure click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know. I got like four questions popping in my head. They all seem vaguely inappropriate. So I'll just ask you, the Joker or Two-Face? Which one do you actually think is more dangerous? I feel like it's a Two-Face. I really do. I feel like danger-wise. I just feel like the Joker would never kill Batman. Whereas Two-Face would definitely kill Batman. Like he'd be like, I'm gonna kill you. If I have a chance, you're dead. Whereas the Joker, he just needs Batman. He needs him. He's his other side. But let me know in the comments below. Joker or Two-Face, which one do you feel like is more dangerous? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.